in 1971 when I was young and thin. I was a studio musician and I got a call from a gentleman named Peter Asher. And Peter said, I have this new singer and I'd like some horn arrangements done for him. And I said, sure, it'd be a great break for me to do. And he sent over some tapes. So about two months later, myself and five other musicians, some horn players, were in a studio and we recorded two tracks for what wound up being James Taylor's Sweet Baby James album. Did any of you happen to see that PBS special that was an anniversary of when James and Carol King were at the Troubadour? Did any of you see that? Yeah. What they neglected to tell you was that at the end of each show, they brought up our horns. And I understand that economically it didn't pay for the PBS special to do that, but you kind of got cheated because you didn't see that, because to be honest with you, our horns raised the roof, and it was terrific. So, in tribute to that, and in tribute to our wonderful honorees, we would like to do, for the first time, with horns, with Billy singing it, here's James Taylor's Steam Rover Blues. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah!
Blue